Hello and welcome to Be Joyful 24-7. Today I'm so excited to bring you um, the much-awaited uh, garden makeover. Um, so it's it was a big process. In the video it looks uh, just for like uh, over 30 minutes but it was actually over months. Um, this was done last year. Uh, I'm going to talk you through, it's going to be a voiceover video, but I'm going to talk you through how we transformed it. I'm so pleased with the end result. Uh, I hope you think um, so too. Um, do please uh, let me know what you think of the end result. After our extension was done, it was pretty much a building site and there was literally nothing uh, except for a few perennial plants on the, around the edge like a border and that's about it. Um, so when we wanted to transform the garden, when we wanted to do the garden, uh, we knew that we wanted to um, grow some vegetables for the first time. Uh, but we also um, were aware that we didn't want to make it look like an allotment. Hopefully the finished garden um, would you know, reflect that and it will give you some tips and tricks as to how you can achieve something similar as well. Uh, I'm also going to add to the fact that we pretty much uh, recycled everything that we had in the garden. So let's go and see how we managed to do that. Uh, it's 2019 and this is how the garden's looking at the beginning of extension. Fast forward, now it's the 4th of April 2021, so obviously it's been a couple of years. Um, due to the pandemic, uh, we had to down tools halfway through the project, uh, which meant our extension went on for quite a long time. Uh, but anyway, after everything was finished and the builders were gone uh, and the patio and everything was done, we had a blank slate and we just thought, right, we'll start. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much uh, been used as a dumping ground for all our building materials, whatever was left over, uh, you name it. Uh, patio slabs, as you can see there, that's been used as like a temporary path. Uh, you can see some hardcore, some sand, concrete, um, offcuts of uh, paving slabs, uh, lots and lots of weeds, <laughs> and the ivy from our neighbour's garden taking over one side of the fence. Wheelbarrow, broken statues, and in the corner, you can see lots of Yorkshire stones that were uh, originally in the garden. Uh, I am thinking of uh, repurposing them somehow. Uh, I don't know what yet, but I do have um, a couple of ideas there. Um, so, yeah, we, we'll just see what we can do with that. Uh, please do excuse the washing on the line. It was a lovely day, so I wasn't going to miss the opportunity. Uh, and on the other side as well, we have the same issue. Uh, our fence is literally being pulled down. Uh, by the neighbour's um, ivy that's overtaking and in the corner uh, if I can show you then uh, you can see all the bags uh, from the building material uh, lots of old trees and plants that were cleared uh, lots and lots of bricks actually um, old bricks uh, we are hoping to reuse them as well um, in somehow in a project we'll see what we can do it is now quite a few weeks later uh, because we work full time so we can only work uh, during weekends um, so as you can see here uh, a little bit of progress has been made uh, we managed to clear a lot of rubbish quite a lot of tri uh, trips to the tip actually um, so uh, although it still looks quite messy you can see that we've cleaned, uh, cleaned everything uh, we've stacked all the bricks to one side so we can uh, reuse it later uh, but all the rubbish is gone uh, I've kept the hardcore in the corner there because um, I have an idea uh, for the place uh, the fence is literally falling down uh, I don't know whether we're going to change it we'll have to see how the budget goes and you can see the other side though on the other hand we've still not touched it it just took us quite a few weeks just to clear one side of the garden it was hard work actually um i was on holiday so a couple of days later um we managed to finish uh, the other side of the garden as well um so everything's been cleared i 
did read quite a bit. Uh, I wanted to do no dig, but I did have to just disturb the soil a little bit um, because there was quite a lot of building rubble uh, left and I wanted to make sure uh, the soil was quite healthy. Uh, as you can see, I've cleared the ivy on the on one side of the fence and um, we've moved all the pots to the patio so we have uh, some space to work with. Um, but pretty much, yeah, everything's been cleared and we have um, sort of a starting point really um, to begin the work. I'm now showing on the other side, you know, the fence that was falling down. And there was a reason for that. It was because my jasmine plant was actually overtaking the whole length of the fence. Uh, and uh, it was on a trellis, but what happened was it kept uh, reshooting itself. It, it was rerouting all the way down on the ground. I put it in split screen so you can see. Uh, it was only one plant that I planted originally, but it managed to sort of like grow so many uh, baby plants uh, from the vine and it was literally overtaking the whole side of the border. Uh, so I, I, I do think I need to do something with that. I'm planning to probably put an arch uh, so I can train um, the jasmine um, plant and then clean it a little bit and uh, probably repot all those baby plants and give them to friends and family because I really do think that will help uh, repairing the fence really so that's sort of something I have to do first I think that's the first job I have to do now it's the beginning of June and unfortunately uh, because the time was running out for all my um, veg seedlings I had to sort of like ignore all the other jobs put it aside and concentrate on creating all the beds for my um, vegetable beds because uh, all my seedlings were outgrowing the pots and I had to do something unfortunately I don't have a footage of how we did uh, these beds it's just nothing. We we are doing um, sort of a um, no-dig bed. Uh, in no-dig, normally, you would use like a timber side or something uh, at the beginning. But I just thought timber normally attracts slugs. Um, so I just thought, why not reuse uh, the bricks that we had? And it turned out to be the best decision we ever made. Uh, so yeah, we did quite a few veg beds and transplanted all my seedlings. And I'm so happy I did that because I was just really panicking uh, because everything was outgrowing and it's already beginning of June. So I was just thinking, am I going to catch up, um, you know, with the veg growing? So yeah, that had to be done first before we moved on to anything else at all in the garden. So the fence is quite old, uh, but we're not changing it this year. The budget wouldn't allow it. Um, so I'm thinking of repainting it few days later uh, this is how everything is looking uh, we have actually done quite a lot of jobs in that time um, all the veg beds are all established and they look happy and everything looks nice I painted the fence black uh, I went for a black um, rather than the traditional brown because I really thought it would look uh, nice against all the flowers and the leaves so uh, fingers crossed um, it'll be beautiful um, we also managed to clear a bit more weeds and, you know, lots of other little bits and pieces. I trained my jasmine onto an arch. Uh, let me show you. Yep, it looks a lot cleaner and tidier. And in the corner, uh, if you remember, there was quite a lot of building uh, rubble, hardcore and things left. So... We are west, we have west facing um, garden, and that is the first bit of sun trap. Um, it gets the first sunshine. So we thought, why not uh, build like a second seating area? So we wanted to reuse the hardcore that was left there rather than moving it out of the garden. So we used three four by four timbers, uh, we used postcrete, it's ready made post uh, um, mortar mix that you can buy. And we just dug a hole and put three um, four by four timbers to start a pergola. So we spread the hardcore that was left there 
and uh, we spread it uh, evenly and then you should really use a whacker plate well we weren't going to hire one so we were like oh we'll just use bricks instead <laughs> it was hard work well we managed to whack it all down uh, i've used this curved lawn edging that you can buy from uh, garden centers use them to contain and make it like into a curved uh, seating area rather than a boring square or a rectangle and this is how it's looking after all the hard goes being left to settle if you remember there were quite a lot of stones um, yorkshire stones left behind from our uh, old uh, previous garden um, so we just decided to reuse it and go for like a crazy paving seating area uh, just so we can repurpose everything and just to keep the cost down really uh, no other you know reason uh, so we put it like jigsaw it was like a jigsaw puzzle really uh, we just went for the similar sort of like uh, depth um, you know thickness stones uh, aligned them all uh, made sure there weren't two big gaps in between and this is how it's looking we then bought some pre-mixed uh, mortar mix uh, from a DIY center and you just uh, pour it all in, uh, use a broom to sweep it in between the crevices and then you use a hose and lightly water it and what happens is it all settles in the cracks and it uh, sets the paving stones really. Uh, that's it. So now we've moved quite a lot of stones for the seating area. Uh, we could clean the other side, you know, the corner where you had loads of stones. So we managed to clear most of it. We are keeping a few more stones because I'm planning to build like a little wildlife pond in that corner because we don't get a lot of sunshine in that corner. Uh, I thought it would be perfect place for a wildlife pond. Uh, so we've kept a few more stones and then cleared the rest of them away and that corner is now ready to um, uh, house a pond. We then moved on to building a raised planter for the back um, boundary of the garden really um, because it was an awkward space we thought we could use a raised bed where we can grow some climbing vegetables um, so we just used some decking boats um, and used a two by two uh, to brace the corners for support it's pretty much like a rectangle shape um, you know planter nothing fancy uh, we used two by twos in the corners and in the middle for support and as you can see in the next clip uh, this is how it looks um it's it's just a rectangle shape basically uh, and we just painted it black uh, to match uh, the fence we then added some frame at the back uh, so we can add some trellis sort of like setup for the climbing plants so this is how the raised planter is looking with all the vegetables in place. Obviously, you can see the time stamp. Uh, it, this was after, a, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, so I have put some climbing beans as well. I used jute string uh, for the plant support because this way, uh, once the growing season's finished, you can just cut the plants down and you can take the whole thing to the compost bin and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, and also, unfortunately, I don't have the footage of how we did it, but you know, I was talking about the wildlife pond. Uh, we bought a pond liner online. Uh, we dug a hole and then we placed the pond liner and arranged all the stones that we saved around. So I'm just going to show you very quickly. Yeah, this is how it's looking. Um, so we've just started the wildlife pond uh, that I was talking about before. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, just a quick um, progress of how all my veg plants are doing. My kale, I can see my Brussels sprouts. The radish is coming up now and uh, on the other long bed uh, we have some peanuts and actually uh, my peanuts weren't very successful. So if you've grown peanuts before, please let me know what, um, you know, give me some tips and tricks. So we have some dwarf French beans, my sweet corn, my aubergines and i've also cleaned the whole border i planted quite a lot of dahlias and daisies 
and marigolds hopefully in a few weeks time they'll all be flowering and this border would look uh, beautiful i just added a statue in the middle of the arch uh, i thought it was just cute um, and yeah all the plants are now starting to grow and mature and this is how um, it's looking at the moment uh, i've also added a little border uh, by the patio as well we planted a few evergreen plants and some bedding plants so to the entrance of the garden we decided to add an arch um so we decided to build it quite sturdy so we used some four by fours just like the pergola and we dug some holes and used postcrete uh, to keep them in place um it was quite solid actually and i'm quite happy with the result um it turned out really good Sorry, couldn't resist, but I had to just uh, show a footage of how glorious my cauliflowers were this year. They were so delicious and I had really good success growing them. So I just thought I'll just um, add in that clip randomly <laughs> here. Hope you enjoy looking at them. So um, through the archway, we decided to put like a little path in the middle. So we used some uh, plastic edging again and built a path you can see it clearly in this clip here now so as i'm walking out of the house uh, you can see that we just put those edgings uh, just like a straight path nothing fancy really um, just so we can give that illusion of space you know the length from the house i just thought it will just elongate the view um, so yeah we just used some plastic edging and as you can see, everything is now in full colour. All the plants have grown and everything's looking beautiful. So you can see the arch uh, clearly now. So we used some 4 by 2s for the top. Um, used some brackets to uh, secure them in place. And um, it's towards the end of July now. And um, all the flowers are in full bloom and the vegetables are all growing um, happily. The garden is really bright and colourful. Um, as I said, the flowers do look really beautiful against the black fence. I'm happy I just chose uh, black instead of the brown colour, really. Um, I have planted a lot of calendulas, uh, as you can see in the picture, and marigolds, because they're really good beneficial plants, especially if you're growing vegetables. Um, do plant them. Uh, they really attract uh, beneficial insects into your garden. Uh, we do need to um, do something about the water feature, really. Uh, we need to connect it. That's the next job. Um, and we also added some plants um, in the corner. I have added a couple of compost bins. Uh, I don't have a lot of space, but it's just a couple of bins and this is how it's looking towards the end of July. It's still not quite finished. There's quite a lot to do still, uh, but um, it does look uh, beautiful and everything is growing, so I'm happy. It's all the hard uh, landscaping and things uh, that are left to be done. Uh, I do have quite a few bits and pieces to do, but at the moment, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with how um, everything is growing. You can see the pergola really clearly here. So we used again four by twos um, at the top. Uh, we used some um, angle brackets to secure them. Uh, and it's a really lovely place actually. Quite happy with how the seating area has turned out to be. Um, yeah, so yeah, still a lot to do. But I, I just thought I'll show you how the plants are doing and how all the growth is happening um, in the garden at this time of the year. My sweet corn, can you see how much they've grown from the last time? Uh, yeah, they're looking quite healthy, um, really beautiful. Uh, we never fixed that fence, by the way. <laughs> we just left it. Uh, we sort of like fixed it um, temporarily. Uh, they need changing for next summer, um, surely but not at the moment, we're not gonna to touch that. Um, so yeah, we have now managed to put some weed killing membrane um, down in the path, uh, ready for the next step. We also added some decorative bark chips on the side. Uh, 
just to brighten up uh, the path really uh, because you do use wood chips in allotments and places but we thought we won't go for wood chips we'll go for a decorative bark chip and then we repurposed all those paving slabs that was left over from our patio so we just spaced them out and then filled the gaps with some decorative white stones and this is how the path is looking i actually feel like um it's it's looking quite good the color combinations the red black and white um it really stands out uh, against all the beautiful plants and flowers so yeah i'm quite happy with that yeah so it's the 25th of july i'm just uh, showing you a clip from the house how everything is looking now that all the jobs are done everything is flowering and looking beautiful the water feature has been connected um it turned out to be a really good statement piece there and yeah quite happy just showing you how the borders are looking do have a small greenhouse you can see in the corner and my climbing beans are starting to mature added some pond plants if you can see most of the cauliflower has been eaten and yeah full of life the garden's full of life at the moment i don't have any frogs at the moment in my wildlife pond the whole point of the wildlife pond was to keep the slugs down so yeah fingers crossed i'll get some frogs next spring and summer um yeah I'll have to keep my fingers crossed for that one, I think. I'm just going to show you how the seating area is looking. So we carried on with the bark chips um, theme there. And it looks really nice. Uh, the seating area is uh, such a beautiful spot to sit uh, down first thing in the morning. Um, really quite happy with the crazy paving seating area. Um, there was, never thought we would be able to achieve something like this, really. So yeah, everything is great in that corner. Uh, showing you my sweet corn and how they are growing. This is now the 11th of September and my sweet corns are glorious at the moment. They turned out to be so tasty. Uh, one of the best things uh, I planted this year, I'll have to say. Uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed growing those sweet corn. Um, so I'm going to show you how the garden looks from the pergola now. Um, and this is now peak summer. It's actually like a, you know, it, the garden looks completely different when you are looking at it from here. Um, it's like a totally different space. Um, so I, I really love sitting uh, in the pergola and looking towards the house. It's such a beautiful spot. So this is our patio. Uh, we currently don't have good furniture. I have huge plans for this space actually for next spring, summer. Um, yeah, do watch out for that video. Uh, it's going to be coming soon. I have great plans for some DIY furniture. After some solar lights, and um, this is how the garden's looking in the evening. I absolutely love the space. I really hope you enjoyed watching this transformation. Please leave your comments down below.